what is in demand today more and more is a feature-rich product without compromising sound quality. The new product is called the 390, and one of the first things we've had to do is define just what the 390 will be. It's more than just a pre-amplifier, it's more than just a DAC, it's more than just a streamer and a phono pre-amplifier. It's in fact all of those put together and then some. It is in essence the nerve center for a high performance music system. Every aspect of the 390's manufacturing, from the CNC milling of the chassis to the board stuffing and all of the assembly is done right here. Because we are a very vertically oriented company, we have control of all of these aspects of production to the extent that we feel we can produce a higher quality product with better value to the customer. The 390 has more features than any other Moon product before. If you look at the back side, you'll notice that there is a traditional preamplifier input such as RCA and balanced uh, input. It has, of course, the analog output, fixed and variable on RCA and also a variable on balanced. So the variable output is the typical uh, connection for a power amp while the fixed output is not related to the volume control, so you may use it with a, an integrated amp or other devices. You have the typical uh, connections such as the TUSLink or uh, SPDIF on RCA. You have our XLR uh, input, a ESCBU, and then we also have a USB input, which is asynchronous and supports 32-bit 384 kilohertz and or DSD up to quadrate or DSD 256. So there is so many sources for HDMI nowadays that we've added HDMI connection to the 390. So we have four digital inputs based on that. It is a full video switcher. There is no video processing, but it can handle the video, so you may use it as a switcher. It can also extract the DSD signal if you ever have a SSD player, for example, and you have an HDMI output on that. You may use it to decode natively the DSD inside the 390 with uh, those inputs. Also, the card is modular in such a way that if ever there are newer generation of HDMI, which happen quite often, we must admit, we will be able to swap in the future in such a way to keep your product always up to date on the HDMI side of things. So we've added the dual Ethernet connector at the back of the 390. The first one is to allow our mind streamer to connect to the internet or the NAS or any other uh, internet sources, while the second one is for your own convenience in such a way that you may connect your NAS there or any other device requiring an internet access. The dual Ethernet actually acts as a switch. So there is a USB connector on the back in such a way that you may connect a thumb drive or a powered hard drive directly to our mind streamer. There are two wireless antennas for people who prefer to connect wirelessly to our mind streamer. There is also a Simlink connection, so it may control other Moon devices, and a 12 volt trigger output in such a way that you may power on, power off uh, a power amp that will be connected to the 390. So the Mind Streamer allow you to connect to various music services. What's great about our Mind system is that you can select track from various music services and add it to a playlist. The streamer has multi-room capabilities and it can send the signal to other devices as well. So it cannot only group together a signal coming from Tidal, for example. It can also restream the signal coming from any source of the 390. So for example, if you have a turntable connected to the 390 and you want to listen it into another room, you will be able to stream the signal from your turntable to this other mind device as well. We haven't abandoned the traditional audio file with the 390 either. For example, the phono stage built into it is both moving magnet and moving coil and has all of the necessary adjustments to satisfy even the most demanding vinyl user. So we have this very sophisticated phono setup into this product. It's using the menu system. So you have the basic setup where you select moving coil or moving magnet, but if you are into more details, you may select the specific settings for every aspect of it. Like for gain example, you may select 40, 54, 60, or even up to 66 dB of gain. And then you have the capacitance settings, and you have the impedance settings. So you have 47K, of course, for moving magnet. For the moving coil, you may select 10 ohm, 100 ohm, 470 ohm, or 1 kilo ohm. What makes the 390 special is that it embodies all of these technologies into a single box, making it very easy to operate. In fact, I would be one of the first to buy one and take it home. 
So we're quite proud of the 390 when you think about all there is inside. Everything made in such a way to make it work flawlessly and have the perfect sound we were aiming at.